Hello, our two children. This, this is Miss Maria. This week we are looking back to the beginning of the school year and how much progress you have made this year. And I've got a book called Curious George, Time for School. So let's see what Curious George did at school. Learn to tell time with George. Fold out the clock and follow George hour by hour as he's make his way through a fun-filled day at F2, just like you. So let's read. Curious George, time for school. Adaptation by Cynthia Platt, based on the TV series written by Katie Vo. Today is a great day to be a curious monkey. George is going to F2 with his friend Ali. At 7 o'clock sharp, this is 7 o'clock, he starts to get ready. Don't forget an apple for the teacher, said the man, says the man with the yellow hat. George makes sure he has his school supplies. There will be so many things to learn and do at school. At 8 o'clock, this is 8 o'clock, George and Ellie are at the bus stop waiting patiently for the bus. The bus arrives right on time and they hop on and ride to school. And they sit together. George and Ellie arrive at school at 9 o'clock. This is 9 o'clock. George is very happy to meet Ellie's classmates. And they're happy to meet him. The teacher calls everyone together at 10 o'clock. Here is 10 o'clock for story time. The students all sit in special chairs to listen to the teacher read. Then the students talk about what they like most about the story. George likes the part about castles. So it's a book about castles. What fabulous fun! At 11 o'clock, this is 11 o'clock, it's time to play at the water and sand tables. George loves to play with sand and to make a mess. Maybe it's cleanup time too. At 12 o'clock, it's time to eat lunch. George and Ellie are feeling hungry after so much playing and learning. They sit down and enjoy their lunches from home. Wow, the day is flying by. At 1 o'clock, George and Ellie are playing with blocks. He wonders if they could use them to build a castle in the classroom. But George gets a little carried away. Luckily, the teacher loves the fancy castle they built for her. It's two o'clock, time to go home. George has had such a wonderful day at school. So he goes back on the bus and that's it. So that was Curious George at school. Bye bye.